Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Harry Torn, and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we're playing as Great Britain. So, in today's episode, we'll be declaring war on France, as well as Mexico and Communist China, and a few other countries that are in that faction, and just hoping that the United States doesn't join. Though I do expect they probably will, uh, though I don't know if it'll be immediately. Maybe we'll have a little bit of time before they join. So, I did want to address a couple things from my pinned comments on the last two episodes. So, the first one was me pointing out that I did accidentally click on uh, Switzerland when I was trying to uh, decrypt France instead. So we actually have Switzerland complete here. I did cut that out because I didn't want to have like a bunch of comments pointing out the mistake. Typically when I make a very obvious mistake like this, uh, a lot of the comments will be about it. Uh, so I didn't want to get like a, you know, a dozen or so comments about, about it. So I just cut it out. Uh, but I did do that on accident. So we're still working on France. We had actually finished them. Uh, however, they must have gotten an upgrade because now we got another 69 days, unfortunately. I don't think we'll wait on that either. We'll see. We'll see where we're at uh, when we're ready to declare war. Uh, we're probably not going to wait on that. Uh, but I do have the, the Mexican one pause so that we can focus exclusively on the French one because if we started the Mexico one, then it would take a bit longer, 137 days. So we're just going to pause that one and let them finish up with the, the French one first. I also mentioned the fact that we had gotten that new radar and didn't put it on the ships or the tanks. And we could do that. It would cost us six experience though. And and while it would be worth the experience to get the breakthrough and defense up, uh, I don't think that's what we should expend our, our limited experience on right now. We'll have to do that a little bit later, guys, because I already have something I currently want to do with that. So we'll do that in a minute. Uh, same thing with the ships. Uh, with the ships, I feel like we're, we're close enough to, to having the 1941 models built. I just don't want to spend the experience and, and uh, you know, have to stop building these. I don't think that's the, the best way to, to go about doing it. I think we'll just wait until we get the 1940 ships. The radar would be helpful, but we'll just wait until we get that next next model out there. Uh, so there was that. And then the last thing is over here in Belize. I had mentioned that I don't think we're going to defend this here, guys. Uh, which is a jungle and uh, a low-level port, so we're probably going to have supply issues if we try and put too many troops here. And then on top of that, we'd have to build some forts if we really wanted to to keep it and I, I just don't think it's worth it i think we'll let the mexican seize it from us and it would be helpful to not have to do a naval invasion obviously but we don't even have to defeat mexico because they're a minor country uh, so we won't even have to defeat them now if the americans join then having this port is helpful but that also means americans are going to pump troops over here making it even less likely that we'll hold the province and so that would be like the situation i was talking about in hong kong that it's just not worth trying to keep i don't think it's gonna work out for us however in Hong Kong, I have changed my mind on this. Now, there's a couple things we could do here. We could make this into a subject so they can't attack us. However, since they can only attack from one province, and I, and I would like to keep this, we're gonna try and build some forts here, guys. So we have two units here. I sent another one from over here. Give us a total of three of these really cruddy divisions. And then I'm building up the fort uh, up to level five. I don't think we'll get that uh, fully built up before the war starts, but we might be able to get to level three at, at least a level two maybe a level three though we'll see uh, so yeah we're gonna build that that fortification up and try and keep hong kong if we can and then the final thing to note here is that the the russians are actually a subject of japan so not only did they give up territory to japan they agreed to become a subject of them which is super super silly uh, that doesn't make any sense I, I know that they needed help in the war but i just don't see the czar or anybody supporting the czar giving up Russia's independence to another major power to try and win the Civil War. I just don't see that happening, even against the communists. I, I just don't I don't think that's realistic at all. It's really, really silly, and it's really overpowered, too. Uh, Japan's not even obligated to really help the Russians out that much. Now, we did see them send troops here, and they did help. They're not really obligated to, and so it's just really strange for them to do that just to get Japan into the war with them. Like, it makes sense. Give them these territories. Uh, I agree with that, but to make them into a subject... Yeah, that's really silly. Uh, but that's going to kind of change the campaign a bit because if the Russians or anybody else or the you know, Polish or whoever else declares war in Russia, then they'll also be at war with Japan. So that's a real possibility. So we'll just have to see what happens there. Uh, but this could result in like Japan and uh, and uh, Russia joining you know one of these wars that we're in. Uh, so we could end up allying with them. Uh, for instance, they go to war with the Central Powers if that does emerge. Or if they go to war with communist China, and thus all the, the communist countries, or the United States, or whatever, uh, then that's another situation where we could find ourselves uh, in a good position to ally with the Japanese and Russians. All right, so let's go and get started with today's episode, which we'll start with by using that experience that I didn't want to spend on the tanks. 
to throw in some support companies here because we only have two of the five support companies for our main infantry divisions. That's just how far behind we are when it comes to army experience. We've just been incredibly limited. Uh, so we're going to get the Cav Recon Detachment, get you Recon, but most importantly it gets us increased speed. And then we're going to get the Field Hospitals, which I love Field Hospitals. Uh, I know that, you know, with the, the Great Britain, this is always a good thing to have because Great Britain has a lot less manpower than many of the other major countries. So Field Hospitals are a must-have for the British regardless. But a lot of people, when they think of Field Hospitals, they only think of the manpower bonuses. They don't think of what I think is the, the more important bonus, which is the experience loss one. This is really impactful. Uh, you know, obviously, as you upgrade, it, it gets a lot better. Uh, but this can be really impactful for making sure that your troops keep as much of their experience as possible when they take casualties. Uh, there's also some under the hood bonuses as well that come from this when it comes to generals. Uh, so overall, this is a, a really good bonus to have uh, the field hospitals. So I, I really like them. I know some people don't. And did I add that? I did not. I just closed it. I thought we had already added it. Let's go ahead and save that. Uh, and hopefully we can get them trained up in time for the conflict. Now I did get all the, the units, planes, and ships moved around. And we'll uh, take a look at all that here in a little bit. I wanna make sure we get these guys trained up here. We probably won't declare war immediately when we get the, the war goal. I think we might have to, to wait just a little bit. All right, so it doesn't look like anybody lost any experience yet. Uh, they might've already had enough. And just letting us know that the Civil War is over in, in America. There we go. All right, so get these guys trained up. And uh, we'll take a look at all the the planes and ships here in a little bit. Uh, get these guys trained up too. Or maybe right when the wars start. Which, we do have that justification. Uh, but I don't think we're going to be ready for at least another week. Uh, because we do have, as you can see, ships moving everywhere. Which, you know what? Let me make sure all those ones going to Asia went over here, because I did make an adjustment here at the last minute. Yeah, I think one of them wasn't going. Uh, but this is our fleet situation. We have four theaters. The uh, original one, a Mediterranean, one in Asia, one in Americas. We'll take a look exactly how the fleet composition looks uh, in a little bit. I did want to address this situation here with the Greeks and the Turks. We've been waiting for this war to start uh, for a while. So we've all been theorizing in the comments, what the hell's going on here? Like, is it taking forever for them to get a focus or something or something else broken, something bugged with an event maybe? And we've all been trying to figure out what it is. Uh, it's actually a really, really old bug that I thought was fixed. The Greeks no longer have their focus tree. This is the default focus tree. So this was a bug that uh, Hoi 4 had a long time ago, that when countries would change their tags or even change their names sometimes, uh, you'd see this happen where they would lose access to their focus tree You know, so they're still Greece, but they're like a different like three-letter tag or something like that Like if they had a, a civil war, I don't know why they would have changed their tag uh, But yeah, it used to result in them losing access to their focus tree However, this was fixed. This was fixed a while back like two years ago, and here it is the bug is is back in the game uh, they don't have access to their focus tree. So this will never happen. Uh, nothing will happen to the Greeks, in fact, uh, because now they're on that generic focus tree, they won't be able to do anything. Uh, they will remain democratic here and probably uh, remain quite peaceful, not really doing anything unless somebody declares war on them, which is a possibility. I don't recall if the Italians have a focus to uh, get a war goal on the Greeks. They might. Uh, it's been a while since I played with the vanilla Italian focus tree. Uh, so maybe they declare war on them. Uh, but outside of that, or the Turks declaring war on them, that's a possibility too. I think they might have a focus for it. Uh, but outside of somebody declaring war on Greece, they're not going to do anything. Uh, they're just going to sit here because it's broken. Uh, so very, very unfortunate. It does mean we can delete these because I don't have any intention uh, to invade Turkey right now. And uh, since this war is not going to be starting, uh, it's not really necessary to have those invasions anymore. That's the last campaign, the India campaign, ended due to a major bug. We have another major bug here. Of course, this is not that big of an issue for us personally but it's still very unfortunate. I think we're gonna save the political power for when the war starts so we can go and just switch on over to uh, war economy. Uh, I'm not sure where all of our ships are, if we're close enough to being done. I know we still have units moving over here to Africa, so at the very least we should probably wait for that. Cause yeah, we have hardly any troops up along this front. So that's clearly a problem. Huh, yeah, we'll have this front secure, but this is the one that's an issue. So you know what, let's put units over here then. And then we'll just take a, a unit that's coming over here. Oops. And send him on to... Okay, so he's coming over to 
bat front, I think. Maybe this guy. Put him over onto this one. There we go, beautiful. So yeah, we kind of got to wait for those African troops to get here. Uh, this is giving us some time to train up our our uh, planes here. I have two air wings that are currently training, or should be. This guy is not. So yeah, we're training up these air wings right now. It kind of sucks we're just waiting for these units to get over here. I don't really want to wait. It's not that important, honestly, but we'll give it like maybe till April 1st and that's going to be it. But yeah, you can see they're moving troops over here while we wait. Uh, I guess, you know, we're also training up some of these troops. So we at the very least want to wait until they're done. Uh, these guys are done. They're done as well. It looks like everybody else is trained. So it's just that one unit. Uh, which I think is still moving somewhere. So yeah, we probably only wait for him. Uh, but that means we're going to have to look at that event firing for the rest of the campaign, guys. Unless I made a modification to the, the files or something, uh, which I'd have to actually make a mod for and, and do all that, which isn't really desirable. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Uh, but I'm not totally sure what else we're, we're going to do unless we want to just look at that all the time. Uh, we're going to get another one going into the strategic bombers here, guys. Yeah, it's it's gonna fire over and over again until we uh, fix it, basically, because uh, it's never gonna fix itself now. Now, maybe if the Greeks are gone, then it'll stop firing, or if the the Turks are gone, that's a possibility as well. All right, so we got most of the troops over here, guys. Let's get it, then we get the last one in there. There we go, and we were able to get the, the research done here as well, so we can build the uh, railway guns. And I don't know that we're going to get this civilian class. It does reduce the production of trains, but you know what, guys? We don't really have a an issue with trains right now. Uh, so maybe later. Uh, but there's so many other things that we could be working on, and so I think we should probably do those. Uh, so we're done here. Uh, we've got that going. We still need to get the improved radar, and I, I suppose we should go ahead and get that next. Yeah, I think that's what we'll work on next. Uh, so let's go in and get that researching. Oh, my stomach is growling. All right, so we still have some troops that are coming uh, over to this front here. I don't know if I'm willing to, to wait for them, though, because that's the only thing that we're currently waiting on, I believe. I think everything else is, is ready to go. Uh, we have some ships that are in their locations, though, from what I'm seeing. All right, so we do have some situations. I moved all these guys over here, so I'm not entirely sure what happened here. But yeah, let's just make sure everybody is going where they're supposed to go. Oh, damn. Alright, so it looks like all the Asian ones are over here. Let's take a look at the Americas. Make sure they're all over here. Nope. <laughs> One of them didn't get sent. Uh, I think some of the submarines... I kind of changed up the designs a little bit at the last moment, and then I didn't get them moving. So I suppose we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, we lose the war goal on the 30th of April, so there is a limit on how long we can wait here. Give it a couple more weeks just getting these units up to these fronts here, and then we'll be good to go. I don't think we're going to further train any of these guys, uh, unless we were to take him and put... You know, I'm not even going to bother. It's fine. He's almost there. It's close enough. He'll have to get it in combat. Uh, we got the improved heavy battery. Excellent. So we're going to put those on the battleships. But before we design those, I do want to get the dual purpose gun. Yeah, I think that's the last thing we need for those battleships. Let's go and research that. Uh, but as of right now, we're not currently building any battleships. So we want to make sure that we get that done as soon as we finish those dual purpose guns, which are sitting at uh, how, how long until we get that? 44 days. And then we'll we'll design the battleships. So yeah, just waiting for these troops to get over to their locations here. Two units, and then uh, we'll declare war. I don't even know if we'll get over there in time. You know what? Let's go ahead and just take this guy and have him come over this way. He'll go over here, and then he can go over there. It's good enough. Because yeah, we, we were wasting a lot of time here. We're just trying to get these troops into their locations. Come on, man. How many more days till he gets there? Less than one. There we go. All right, beautiful. We'll give it another day, get some entrenchment up. And I guess we'll get our focus done as well. All right, so this is where we'll declare war here at 7 in the morning on the 25th of April, just a few days from losing the war goal. Uh, that did give us that uh, bonus to... Oh, we got a research bonus for cruisers. Okay, I didn't even see that. I only went for the production cost. Uh, but that also had research bonuses. Uh, so we needed to get that because we we're going to be researching cruisers soon. 
Uh, so we might want to go and get the extend the repair yards next so we can repair a little bit quicker. Uh, getting the fighter production reduced would be helpful as well, as would infantry equipment. Uh, getting those extra dockyards would be helpful for the the, the uh, battleships and uh, carriers. So yeah, let's go and get this. I'll give us two more dockyards and we can repair a lot quicker, which is tremendously helpful. Uh, so we do have army experience, but we're not going to want to make any adjustments here right before we declare war. Uh, that wouldn't be a, a good idea, I think. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and declare war. I don't think we have any allies to, to call in that we want to call in. Anyways, we have our, our one subject, uh, but I don't think we want to call them in. So yeah, let's go ahead and declare war on the French. And uh, we can't expect that China and Mexico will join them. Uh, so yeah, let's go and get all of our uh, planes that are over here moving, because I think we still have that one close air support. I guess we'll figure out where we need them. Uh, so we'll do planes first. We have fighters and close air support over here in the Middle East. And we also have a few more here, really kind of focusing on this area. I don't think they can even reach there. So that's probably not the best use of these. Uh, we do already have planes over here, though. So we might move those ones. We'll see. Uh, over here in the Mediterranean, we might want to make sure that we have control of the seas first before we send those troops. So we won't put these out in the, the skies just yet, the uh, fighters or the close air support. But we'll put the naval bombers out there. Start doing their naval strikes. Put these guys out here doing naval strikes as well. I don't think we have any naval bombers over here. So what we could do is instead use these close air support here and have them do the naval strike. That might be a better use for them. All right, excellent. Uh, and then we have planes covering the channel here. So we have some naval bombers. They'll do their naval strike. And then a bunch of fighters here. Make sure that we control the skies over the channel. Uh, we also have tactical bombers, which we're going to use to just do some strategic bombing here, guys, in northern France. So this has several purposes. Of course, it you know does strategic bombing, which is always helpful, doing some damage to the enemy. And we're going to focus on like their factories, I think, maybe their air bases as well. Uh, don't need to mess with supply over here, though. Not at this point, I don't think. We'll hit dockyards up, though. And yeah, I guess we'll hit anything that has to do with oil. Probably not those, though. We'll do the radar. Yeah, that's good to go. Oops. So we'll have them do that. That will maybe distract some French fighters from other areas if they decide to attack them. If not, then it just lets them bomb with impunity, get some, some war score, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so those are good. Let me see if there's any other planes to be assigned. We did those ones there. I don't have any over here because we don't have any air bases. We need to get air bases constructed. Uh, we're also just, in general, short on planes. I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's all the planes. Uh, so now let's go and get the, the ship set up. So over here in the... Uh, main British theater covering our islands, our homeland, making sure that nobody can invade here. Uh, this is our current fleet. We have two carriers, four battleships, a battle cruiser, which is also the, the pride of the fleet until we change it, uh, which costs a little power, so not something we're going to be doing anytime soon. Uh, five heavy cruisers, and then these are our screens, 36 screens. So it's a very similar uh, build to the one we have in the Mediterranean, but it's it's uh, more up-to-date ships. I think all the ships here are fairly up-to-date outside of the the capital ships. So they're going to be doing the strike force. And then we have two patrol fleets, which have the two light cruisers and eight destroyers each. And we're going to have them doing the patrol. And we're going to just be patrolling all around our islands so that nobody can easily, uh, you know, invade us. Uh, they'll have to defeat our fleet first. So we'll be patrolling these three regions here, and I think that's it for now. I think we get bombed too heavily if we go into the Bay of Biscay, so we will not do that. Uh, we might extend it to the Iberian coast, perhaps. Let's just see how we're doing in the seas before we do. Uh, and then we're going to have this one light cruiser, which apparently is the only ship we have that has the mine lane and stuff, unless I miss some. Uh, so we'll have him set up mines. Obviously, it won't be able to do very much with just one light cruiser, but yeah, why not? We'll have him set, set up uh, some mines here, get us a little bit more... Uh, you know, naval supremacy from that. Then we have our submarines here, which, by the way, I should mention that Cunningham is currently in charge of the fleet, and he does have the ability to get some traits here. Uh, so I think we will go ahead and get ourselves maybe the lone wolf here. Uh, enemy fleet size penalty plus 10%. Don't really need to have the visibility reduced. 
for Cunningham because I actually want to find ships and I want them to find me with this guy. So we'll do the Lone Wolf here and then allow us to then get the uh, Smoke Screen Specialist Retreat ch uh, Decision Chance. So I'm going to get that. Uh, we have Henry Harwood over here for the submarines. And the way I do these, you can tell from the icons what everybody's supposed to do. Uh, so these are the planes. Let us know we have carriers in there. The little binoculars are for our patrol fleets. And then obviously this is for the uh, uh, the mine lane fleet. The submarines, when they have this icon, it tells us they're level 2. When they have the torpedo icon, it tells us they're level 1. Just all so I can easily see what's going on. And I always do it the same way so that it's uh, very easy to, to know what's happening. So with the submarines, we're going to want them going after any uh, French convoys coming through this area. I don't know that we'll cover, I don't think we need to cover any of, of that around there. Uh, we might need to cover that, so we're going to cover that as well. Alright, so they'll cover these regions here. And make sure that anything uh, trying to go into the Mediterranean can be intercepted by them. Uh, we do have some additional uh, ships that are, are done. Alright, so I sent those two like cruisers off. And we will likely throw these guys into the Americas here. All right, excellent. All right, so those are just the ships that we had gotten done training since I had set these up over the last two months or so. All right, so they're going to cover all that. Then we have our Mediterranean fleet. We've already seen this. I haven't really made any adjustments outside of, I think I, I pulled a battleship out, or maybe I switched out battleships. Yeah, I think I switched battleship models uh, here. Uh, so let's go and set these two up for patrolling. And we're going to patrol throughout this region here. Uh, they'll likely bomb us if we go anywhere near their coast. That's okay. And uh, these guys here are going to be set to naval invasion support. So they'll come over here and support this invasion in North Africa. And then, of course, we're going to have them do the strike force. And you guys already know this, but we do have uh, Somerville in charge over here of the Mediterranean fleet. And let me see if he's got any traits. He does. He's got the Lone Wolf as well, so we're going to get that. Uh, the Lone Wolf is obviously something that you want to get when you have a much smaller fleet. Uh, but visibility is also something, you know, neither one of these are, are really necessary for what we're doing here. We'll get the retreat decision chance, though. And then we have Willis over here in charge of the submarines in the Mediterranean. And with him, we probably would want to decrease the visibility. Get that smoke screen chance up as well. And with that, we're actually out of command power, so we won't be able to make any further adjustments until we get a bit more. Uh, so yeah, let's go and get all these submarines assigned. And we're going to have them do that convoy rating throughout the Mediterranean. I uh, don't know if we'll hit anywhere else up. Could have had them do out here, I suppose. Let's just focus on the Mediterranean for now. We'll do right there. Yeah. As I think they do have a port right there. So yeah, we'll have them cover all that. And then we have Cunningham over here in charge of the Asian fleet. He does have that green water expert, so that'll help on the shallow seas, which I think there's only a few. Uh, these are not shallow seas. I know that there's another one sir, over here, somewhere over here that's considered a shallow sea. Maybe it's just these two areas. Yeah, it's just those two. Uh, but really, there wasn't too many choices. The American one also has a couple shallow sea areas. Uh, but yeah, this is the smaller fleet. Uh, as you can see, we don't have very many ships here. We have one carrier, two battleships, six light cruisers, and six destroyers. Uh, as I had stated before, this is not going to be a priority. This area. Uh, we're probably just going to cover these three regions here, and that is all. Maybe that one as well, I suppose. Yeah, we'll cover that one too. Uh, so that'll be our patrol. Uh, then we'll have our strike force. And then we don't have very many submarine task force, as you can see here. And they'll be doing that convoy raid. Uh, and they're all assigned to the same admiral as well, unlike these ones where we split them up a bit. Then we have the American task force here. Uh, we've got two carriers, three battleships, one battle cruiser, three heavy cruisers, six light cruisers, 18 destroyers, and some more ships on the way. And then we have the two patrol fleets over here as well. Uh, so let's have them do the patrol in the Caribbean here, and I think we'll do here for now. But if the Americans join the war, then we'll probably want to pull back there. We'll do this area too, and that looks pretty solid. I might want to do this one as well. 
just because the British or the, the French do have that one port there, which we might do a naval invasion if we can seize control and the Americans aren't uh, in the war. Uh, we'll let them plan for that once we're able to. I mean, they can still plan it up even if they're not assigned, uh, but we'll assign them once we're able to. Uh, right now we're using all of our uh, invasion slots. Uh, so I was going to put them onto the strike force now. And again, we'll have to pull out of the Florida coast if the Americans join the war. All right, and then we have our submarines over here as well, which probably going to have a... You know what? I, I did set this up a little bit different than I wanted to. We don't want them in these areas. We only want them here in these three. It's the submarines that we want in all those areas. Here, 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 here. Might even do the Gulf of Mexico. And there. And probably right there as well. Uh, so this is where the submarines will be. All right, so all the ships are assigned, the planes are assigned, and now I believe I'm going to turn this down, and we're going to go down to speed two initially, because we are going to be manually controlling divisions in uh, several far apart areas, so I think it would be helpful to have it on a, a slower speed. Uh, we do need to spend that political power. Uh, go ahead and change over to the war economy, though. We don't have high enough war support. We're just short, so I might have to wait a, a little bit. We'll see if that ticks up some. Uh, you see stability is in a garbage location, so one decision we could do, if it's a, yeah, it is a, an option, is go ahead and do the improved worker conditions. We'll be 13 political power short of changing the war economy, so we'll have to wait for that now. Uh, we're not doing the emergency factory conversion. All right, excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and start pushing forward here, try and get behind these troops, uh, which the best way to do it is probably to attack right here here and then get Damascus and be behind the, the French divisions there. All right, so over here we'll push forward on any location that's not defended and try and get behind those troops. They're defending all down here, so we'll probably just let them attack us. Our divisions aren't great here, but remember we're coming up behind this way. Now it is a goal to get here, so you know what, actually we will attack right there. Yeah, we'll attack right there. Uh, and they're supporting here, so that's the reason why they're winning, so we'll need to do an attack right there. And the same thing here. All right, excellent. So that looks pretty good. Uh, they're actually attacking us here, so let's attack them there then. All right, fantastic. All right, so that looks pretty solid. And um, then here they're attacking us, so we'll let them do that. Looks like we are winning that location. And then let's go ahead and do this invasion. So we just want to send this invasion here. Go ahead and take over this territory. Uh, they are attacking us there. Let's see if we can't win here. Uh, they'll grab that location. That's fine. They sent a lot of divisions over here. I'm actually surprised with how many they sent. We'll have to see how well this ends up going since they do outnumber us. I'm wondering if France is going to be wide open now because they've like, got so many troops in some of these areas where they probably don't need them. All right, so still winning there. Excellent. Uh, also, over here, you might want to take a look and see if they're doing anything in Hong Kong. They're not. Uh, now, that's probably because the Communist China has not joined the conflict yet. We'll have to see when they when they do that. I don't know if we'll be able to hold that, guys. Uh, as of right now, we did get all those forts built, so it is a level 5 fort. I suppose you can improve it, like, maybe one more. Make sure... They can't get there. Uh, I'll put these below here. I guess it doesn't matter that much. There's only two more extra civilian factories there. All right. So things are going well so far. Uh, you see we've already engaged some troop convoys here. I'm hoping that they have a ton of troops out in the sea that we'll be able to, to engage and destroy. With all those submarines, we should control the seas. And it looks like we're controlling everywhere where we're attempting to. And already, we've done a little bit of bombing here of the French fleet. Got a, one of their destroyers down by almost half health. All right, so so far, mostly green. Uh, here, we're probably going to need the assistance from this division here to be able to win there. Come on, move out. Uh, and they're still attacking here, so we'll keep on attacking as well. Uh, the decision that's available is war propaganda. Uh, we could do that to get the war support up. Well, let's see if we even have to. We might get it up on our own by getting some aces. 
Uh, I did sink a convoy there. Excellent. So you can see the submarines are already engaging uh, all across here. Now, one thing you'll notice is that nowhere on here do I have any convoy escorts. Uh, you know, I, I do prefer to be able to escort some of our convoys, engage any submarines or, or even surface raiders that try and sink them. However, we just didn't have enough ships, guys. Uh, with us having four areas, which is not typical for the British, usually when you're playing uh, as the British, you'd have like, you know, a European, you know, North a European, Northern Sea fleet here for the Channel and uh, the Atlantic. And then you'd have one for the Mediterranean and then one for Asia. So you typically have three. But because we're in the Americas, we have four. And thus, we are really short on ships, guys. Very, very short on ships. And so because of that, I just wasn't able to... Uh, we're just going to have to stay here. I don't think we're going to be able to help out much on that. Uh, but yeah, because of that, we weren't able to get any convoy escorts. So that's unfortunate. All right, so, so far, kind of mixed bag in some of these areas. We can go ahead and seize control of that location, though. There's nobody there to, to stop us. So might as well. Uh, also, nobody to stop us from taking that... So, yeah, it's probably not the best way to do this here. Yeah, I really just want to seize control of their, their ports. Yeah, we'll see what happens there, guys. Let's kind of leave it as is. Uh, still winning over here. Excellent. And we did take this location here. Uh, so Damascus is pretty much wide open now. Because this division here is incredibly weak. Let's go ahead and seize control that and have this unit support them and that'll cut those two divisions off so we can get them destroyed uh, as for the skies let's just see how we're doing so it looks like they did decide to send 200 fighters here to fight the bombers which i'm fine with that uh, those are really really old bombers so i don't care that they they might shoot them down it doesn't bother me it doesn't bother me guys all right so unfortunately Still very red in this area. Uh, let's go ahead and stop that attack since they're not even doing anything. So let's just let them attack us. We'll do better in the defense with the infantry anyways. Uh, we did fully decrypt the French cipher. Excellent. Uh, we are going to go ahead and use that immediately. Uh, a lot of times I'll keep it for the, the passive bonus. The air detection, uh, interception mission efficiency, and the, uh, uh, the bonuses to their intel. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and activate it uh, because we could really use it. Uh, and we're going to use it for this invasion here as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and activate the French Cypher. And then send off this invasion and only this invasion. Because we do control the seas. Uh, into North Africa. Alright, so remember, just trying to get all this colonial territory taken out. So that we can focus exclusively on the invasion of France. And also, I'm worried about the Americans joining and then pumping troops into this colonial territory, which I really don't want to lose. Uh, so we did lose some of our own convoys here, unfortunately. Again, we just can't protect them. Uh, in this area, I really don't want to put any ships because I, I just expect them to bomb us. Uh, well, I guess we have our submarines here, so there is some ships here. And I'm not seeing any bombing yet. Uh, we did sink one of their convoys. Uh, we don't have a cipher being decrypted. Let's go ahead and start Metsco up. Uh, Mexico has not joined the war yet. I don't know if they intend to. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Look at all these troop convoys that we got engaged here. Yeah, that's fantastic. So we might be in a stalemate here where neither of us can, can win. That's a real possibility. Let's see what happens if we attack again. It's even worse than it was before. Now we don't have a planning bonus. So we could do one, but I'm worried that all the Yellow Army troops will then try and go to that front. Which we don't want to have happen. Probably should have sent two divisions here, because one is not going to be enough. Clearly. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at what all has happened. Yunnan has capitulated. Kamish China has defeated him. Uh, we did get our fuel refining as well, which does mean that we are done here on the industrial tax until 1941. I'm really tempted to start working on the atomic research and get another research bonus, but there's just so much stuff to get that I think we should probably focus on, on doing some of this. Uh, particularly the ships. Yeah, I think we should do two of our research slots into the ships here. Uh, so let's go ahead and go with the uh, the carriers next, if we haven't got them yet. Yeah, the carriers is what we want to do next. Uh, let's go ahead and get those researched. 92 days, we don't have a research bonus for those. Uh, do engage three more convoys over here, which I do assume were troop convoys. So yeah, we're just sinking a ton of troops in the sea. Uh, I expect the casualties initially should be pretty high for them. Uh, we have finished up here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and now get these units destroyed. All right, 
right, so just get them wiped out here. And then we'll push forward and take over the rest of Syria. All right, so some success there, so that's fantastic. Looks like we also had success winning in both of these two locations here. Uh, and we have one here. So let's go ahead and take that location next. Uh, we're actually winning here now. And uh, the French are now starting to pull other countries into the conflict. Uh, let's go ahead and support that. Push forward there. Uh, we have taken this location. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and go after this one next. Maybe come up this way. And then we'll attack here. And support that. There we go. I'm guessing that these are colonial French troops. So their divisions are probably just as shoddy as ours are. I don't see any point on keeping this going. Uh, it's clearly not going to work here. Uh, just stop their attack here. And then send them back over to here. And then we'll also attach these guys to this invasion. Oh, we can't. we got to wait until the North Africa invasion is done. But yeah, we'll send two divisions next time and see if that's a little bit more successful. Uh, they're still not winning here. Uh, one division is really, really weak. Let's try this attack again. Yeah, it's not going to work, unfortunately. All right. Just keep trying it here and there. So our invasion here is going, though. I'm not sure where the invasion fleet is. They should be supporting us. I sent some over here. Oh, they uh, are making their way over here, but they hadn't gotten all the way over there just yet. I'm not sure why they didn't go to that port to prepare for the invasion. Yeah, they should have done that. All right, let's go ahead and attack right here. Get this unit here cut off. Uh, I got that guy uh, retreating, so just need to attack right there. And then we'll have uh, these guys completely wiped out. Let's take a look, see what happened here. Three more troop convoys sunk there. Fantastic. Yeah, these are all troops in the sea that are just being wiped out. Uh, again, another convoy sunk there. And engaging some freight convoys as well. Okay. So we're losing that defense now. I don't think we're going to help with that right now, though. All right, so another country has been pulled in. Sunk six convoys there. Fantastic. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Uh, so a lot of uh, troops, French troops, probably dying in the sea here now. Yep. Okay, so more convoys sunk there. I don't know if this is just not disappearing or if there's been that many battles. Looks like it's just not disappearing right now. Uh, yeah, that's two more tro uh, troop convoys engaged there. And two more sunk right there. All right, excellent. So those are going pretty well for us. Uh, winning there as well. And we did get the submarine Spitfires. Uh, so we want to get those building. Uh, we'll wait to do the uh, carrier models. Let's first get all the other planes we need. And we'll do close air support next. We still have that 100% research bonus, so we're going to get it done in 78 days. Let's go ahead and update the fighter planes here. All right, fantastic. All right, so yeah, they are pulling pulling them in, but they haven't pulled in any of the uh, the larger countries just yet. So these guys are all at war with communist China, and they would not be willing to create a faction with us. But they would be willing to do a non-aggression pact, which I'm okay with that. And that might also increase the likelihood of them joining a faction. Yeah, they would be willing to create a faction. The Shangji would anyway. Uh, they are not aligned. I don't know that we want to create a faction with them, though. Let's see what happens over there first before we do anything drastic. But yeah, we're definitely going to want to get a, a faction set up probably of our own. Because I don't see us join anybody else's right now. Uh, what I was thinking is that... You know, maybe if Japan started a faction, we'd want to join theirs. Uh, they would not be willing to, you know, start a faction with us because they're not at war. They're at peace right now, so they're uh, very unlikely to be joining any factions. Almost got this one unit destroyed. We'll have that guy cut off as well. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so that's done. Uh, we'll take this location, then we'll destroy that mountain troop. And then from there, Syria should only have one division defending it uh, with no ability to send more because we'll have possession of their one port. And thus, uh, Syria is essentially dealt with. And then we can send all those troops elsewhere. Uh, did the invasion of North Africa complete? 
There are troops defending, but it does look like we should seize control of it. Now, their submarines are engaging us here, uh, while we do have some, some ships protecting. But you see, they did sink a convoy. We sunk one of their submarines. Uh, shadow Scheme factories taken in use, so that's going to give us those military factories. That's from that focus. So that'll be helpful. And then uh, we had a battle over here. Sunk some more convoys. And sunk some more convoys there as well. All right, we do have experience to spend, but we're going to wait to spend it. Uh, I guess we do need to put those factories into place. Let me just take a look see what we're losing right now. Uh, infantry equipment. We might want to put a factory into that. We have 20,000. But remember, we have a lot of divisions that we want to build once we get the, the manpower for it. I think five factories is probably good, though. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think we're going to invest any further in that right now. Uh, we'll put one more into artillery here. Uh, but the majority of these are probably going to go into planes because I feel like I just don't have the necessary air wings to do what I've been, uh, I've been wanting to do. So, yeah, we'll put them all into planes for now, guys. Really try and build that air force up. So, again, it's, it's very slow going here. We've only gone about a week so far in the actual war. So, it's going to be slow oh, no. going. And that's okay. So they've already moved there to take that province. They just need to win this battle and then they'll have that. Uh, let's go and go this way now. Try and get behind these troops here if we can. Now we're no longer winning that. Uh, and they're coming up behind us here. Uh, we're about to grab that location. But yeah, they might come up behind us and grab those ports. So we do want to keep an eye out for that. To make sure they don't, don't do that. That would obviously be bad for us. Uh, do we have enough army experience to get something here? So we're at least using it. We do. We could get the Spirit of the Academy. Uh, is that the one we want, or would we rather wait to get one of these here? Like the Spirit of the Army or something. Yeah, I think the one we'll, we'll likely get here is the Bold Attack. So I think we're just going to wait, because that's not going to be that useful right now. So I think we're going to wait and go ahead and save up for the 35 experience to get one of the ones here. Now we could change up division designs, uh, but that will impact our divisions in the fields. So probably not the best way to, to go about doing this. Um, let's just go ahead and take that location. No, no, no. We don't want this guy to reconnect them. That wouldn't be good, obviously. So we'll just push him back. All right, push forward here and here. All right, excellent. So Syria is going nicely. Africa is not going too bad either, considering the number of divisions that we actually have here. Could be much, much worse. Lots of naval battles everywhere. Uh, most of those, of course, are just convoys that are being sunk. But uh, yeah, a lot of naval battles everywhere. Uh, we did lose five convoys there. I don't know if that actually... I yeah, didn't sink any troops as in like a, a full division, but yeah, that is impacting our, our troops here. And they're losing equipment. We only sunk one submarine, so that went pretty well for them. Unfortunately, yeah, I just didn't do quite what I would have liked to see happen there, which is sink a lot more submarines. But, you know, we won the battle. So that's what's important here. Uh, these are all more troop convoys in the Mediterranean that we're engaging. I did expect the Mediterranean to be a good location for us to kill a lot of troops. They did stop their attack here. They gave up on that. And we do have the 150 Politobar, but not the War Support. We just need 1%, guys. Alright, we'll just have to keep our eye on that. Oh, also, we can now attack here. They're done with their attack, so we'll attack here and, and take these, these locations. That'll give us some more divisions to send to other areas. Alright, so we're going to try and get up behind them here. Uh, we did finally move there. All right, excellent. Uh, and I'm just going to try and cut these guys off by taking locations over here. Uh, still winning here. Losing there, though. Because that division just will not pull back. Yeah, so they might push us back there. That's fine, I suppose. All right, and then over here. So we have a division coming over to that location, and he's going over to this one. Uh, we want to defend up here along the river. We don't want them to, to be able to push us back here. But I'd also really like to cut them off here. I wonder if we can beat this guy. We could. Alright, so we'll do that then. And I think we're just going to have to stay here for now. Uh, we could support this to try and get that to be a win. Alright, so let's take a look see the naval battle. Sunk some more convoys here while losing one of our own, which those are not troop convoys. 
So just waiting for this invasion uh, for multiple reasons. Now obviously we can start pushing forward in North Africa once it's done, but on top of that we have some other naval invasions we want to get set up. Uh, this is taking up nine of our ten slots here. Now I know that getting Marines would have been pretty helpful, guys. I know some people are wondering why I haven't gotten Marines yet. Because they would be incredibly helpful. Uh, but the reason why we haven't got Marines... and I suppose we'll go over this way next. Is because of the lack of army experience. Uh, we haven't been able to really even uh, finish our division designs here. Remember, we want to get them a little bit larger. We don't have all the support companies. Uh, we haven't even barely touched any of the other divisions. In fact, the tanks, you know, we, we haven't even done anything with them. I haven't even started building them because of how cruddy they are. I don't see the point when they have so little stuff. Uh, I suppose we could be using our experience for that uh, to improve the tank divisions. I'm tempted to do that, uh, but I'd really like to get some more passive bonuses while we're fighting, so we're just going to wait. Uh, but the lack of army experience has been severe in this campaign, and so there's no point on getting a marine division designed that I can't even modify or do anything with. Yeah, I just didn't see the point. Alright, so everything's going well here. Uh, there's the 51% that we needed. Good God, I've been waiting for that. And uh, just for one ace, and we finally got it so that now we can change over to War Economy. All right, excellent. So that'll give us those extra civilian factories. And as you can see, we do have three full lines and a little bit of a fourth line here. All right, so that's fantastic news that we got that done. Uh, wiping out that division there. And uh, going to get this division here completely cut off before we bother attacking him again. And got uh, two more convoys sunk there. All right, fantastic. And again, these are all troop convoys. It's uh, probably going to result in considerable casualties for the French here. Ready. A lot more than you would anticipate, I think. Uh, we did win here, so let's go ahead and push forward there now. We're going to try and cut this guy off here. Uh, they're tempting to defeat us there. We'll let them do that if they so desire as we go up behind them. Uh, this is not working anymore, so we're going to stop that. And they are moving down where they can take our port. They, in fact, took this province, which I didn't want them to get. So we're going to need to do our own attack over there and hope no other divisions come here to support them. Uh, we did win there. Excellent. Let's go and now push forward here. It took us forever to get that victory. We finally got it. And moving towards Aleppo now. Uh, about to take that location, then we'll get this division destroyed here. And these two are coming over to this location uh, to finish it up. Uh, this guy could be pushing forward here, I suppose. Now, supply is going to be an issue in Africa. And we didn't really do anything to to avoid that. Like, I didn't build any railroads or any supply hubs or anything that we could have built. Uh, so it's going to be a problem. That's okay. Uh, we're definitely going to lose that now, guys. Uh, we are still set to win there. He's taking that location. I guess we'll go and attack there. Uh, when does he leave? Maybe it might be better to wait. Nah, we'll just attack him. Oh, we wouldn't win that. <laughs> Never mind. I forgot. Are we? I saw how weak he was, and I thought we could win, but I didn't see just how weak our own division was. Look at that organization. Absolutely garbage. Uh, is this invasion here done yet? No. Yeah, it's taking a lot longer than expected. I'm guessing they sent more divisions over there. So we're having some trouble getting that win, just pulling out the, the victory there. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. They do actually have divisions over here. They're just waiting for China to, to actually join the conflict. And let's see how we're doing on controlling the seas. Everywhere where we want to, we are controlling. Uh, how about the skies? Not looking quite as good. Uh, over here, we don't have any fighters. So that's the reason why we're not doing well there. Uh, but everywhere else is, is fine, I suppose, where we're actually attempting to, to cover the skies. I want an air base over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and build that. We need a couple air bases, actually. We could build one here, and we'll put this right there, uh, below the radar. And then we're also going to want an air base somewhere around here. Probably right here. In Jamaica. Alright, so that looks good. So eventually get those built so we can bring our planes over here to assist our fleet. 
Though as of right now, it's mostly just convoy battles. I so I suppose that's the case everywhere though. I oh, lost a plane there. All right, so these guys are cut off. Let's get them destroyed now. Have them come over here and start taking this territory. So just trying to get all this wrapped up now. Uh, we're going to take one of these divisions and send them down here. Because we do need more, more divisions in this area. Uh, let's go and attack right there. That'll result in this territory here being cut off. Though I don't think anybody's actually up there. Uh, and then we'll have this guy also cut off. He's trying to retreat right now. Uh, so we might want to attack him to make sure he doesn't do that. And then let's go ahead and push forward here. Start going towards those ports. All right, so they did take that one province from us. That's okay. And we are just kind of flip-flopping here on how we're doing in that location. Let's take a look, see what this is about. We did sink uh, two French submarines and two convoys. All right, excellent. So if we were fighting the Germans, then the fact that we weren't escorting convoys would be a much bigger issue. It's just typically the case when you're playing as British, you're fighting the, the Germans. And in that case, you definitely would want to have some convoy escorts. But with us fighting the French, they don't have that massive submarine fleet that the Germans do. Uh, they do have some submarines, obviously, as we've seen. I don't think they're as much of an issue. Now, what's concerning is that I'm not actually defending this port here. So that's a problem. We should probably send a division over there, but we don't actually have any. Could send this guy over here, I suppose. Yeah. Somebody needs to defend it though. And hopefully he doesn't get engaged while going over there. Uh, we are winning over here. Uh, they actually have some planes here. They have some fighters. That's interesting. That they uh, thought that that was a priority to put fighters here. All right, so still pushing forward across here. And I don't actually want to fight across a river here. That's not the best way to go about doing this. So you know what? Let's just take uh, that province there, I think. Although this guy might retreat by that point. Hmm. I suppose we'll stop that and then go over here. See if he can't get there before that division. Looks like he is about to be defeated soon, so probably not likely. Uh, so let's go and push forward here, where there's no division stopping us. All right, excellent. So, so far everything's going pretty well. The naval invasion there is the only thing I'm kind of concerned about. That's taking way longer than it should. All right, so let's get this wrapped up over here. And these two divisions can go elsewhere. And we don't need them over here anymore. But I don't want to put them any, any more divisions in Africa because I feel like we have plenty enough here. I think what we're going to do is send one of them over to Asia, so we'll have one actual good division in Asia. So we'll have him come over here, and then enter into Singapore. And then the other division will likely just bring on over to, to here for now. I think he might have just assigned himself over there, so he'll probably just move back. It's fine. Uh, we sunk five French convoys there. Right, fantastic. And again, most of those are troop convoys. Uh, bombed the destroyers there, almost got one sunk. Uh, we haven't sunk any of their capital ships yet, despite having our full fleet out there, which I don't know if that's because they're completely avoiding us, or if uh, we just haven't got lucky enough and caught any of them. Uh, let's go and get the Spirit of the Army. So the five choices here, we can eliminate two of them. Uh, proper Heritage, and, and this one here. I mean, we're not going to do either of these, I think. Yeah, those aren't all that helpful for us. Uh, so it was really between these three here. Uh, the Professional Officer Corps is going to reduce land doctrine costs, so that's going to be helpful. It saves a little bit of army experience. I think it's like five army experience is what you're saving, so it's not going to save a ton. Uh, army experience gain is nice. Daily command power gain is nice as well. Uh, tip of the Spear, I think, might be a bit more useful than that one, because we'll get ten more naval invasion capacity. Now, uh, towards the later game, when you have the better techs, the naval invasion techs, you, you don't really need more invasion capacity usually, uh, except for like big invasions of like Britain or, or the United States or whatever. Uh, so, but this would be helpful now uh, when we don't have very much invasion capacity. That's not the only bonus that you're getting. You're also getting supply grace for the paratroopers and marines. You're getting naval invasion planning bonus plus 20%. And you're getting the uh, 
uh, reduction to the design costs for Marines, Mountaineers, and Hair Troops. So that'd be all really helpful. Uh, and then the last choice here is Elevated Engineering Corps, which I did realize that we have not gotten to Railway Guns building, so we need to do that before we end the episode. Uh, this will allow you to entrench faster, also helps with the engineer trait, you can uh, get the design cost reduction. Yeah, I feel like this one's probably not as useful, quite as useful as these two here, just because we don't have the, the Railway Guns yet. Uh, so, probably won't do that one. I really think that right now, Tip of the Spear would be the best one for us to get. So let's go in and get that, because uh, then we can set up this invasion now and have both of these guys assigned here, get rid of this completely, and try sending two troops to see if they can be successful on that invasion. All right, so that'll also let us go to those uh, Special Forces design too. Uh, so we might want to go ahead and get Marines because we can design them for, for much cheaper. So unfortunately, that will have to be the end of today's episode. Uh, I did notice that we were lacking fuel there, and I didn't get the railway guns. So let's go ahead and do that real quick uh, while I'm thinking about it. So put this right below here, put a full five factories into it. It would probably just keep them building as well. And what we might want to do is go ahead and pull back on some of our planes just to get them going into the... Uh, the railway guns. Yeah, that looks good. The next two factories will go into that as well, so we can start getting those those completed. Yeah, this looks pretty solid, I think. Uh, but yeah, we uh, are going to have to end today's episode here. Before we do, we'll, we'll take a look at the casualties, but so far things are going pretty well. Uh, you know, we're, we're moving pretty slow. It's only been uh, about two weeks since the war started. Yeah, it's been about two weeks since the war started, a little over that. Uh, but we have gotten Syria essentially finished up, so that's done. Uh, Africa is going fairly well. Uh, you know, it's it's difficult to fight in Africa, so it could be uh, much, much worse. Uh, so far, we're doing okay there. Uh, we do have a lack of divisions, of course. I think we can make up for that, though, with, like, uh, you know, obviously we have the air power here, so that helps. Uh, they have air power, too. They have uh, more air bases, I think, than we do. Uh, we need to get an air base probably built here, actually. I don't think... Uh, we have any. So let's build one airbase there and then tick that up to the top. Get that done so we can move our planes. But I think these are smaller air wings, or at least one of them is. Yeah, this is a tattoo bomber, so he can uh, he can reach much further. Uh, but still can't really reach that area. But Africa's gone pretty well so far, but North Africa, this invasion, man, like I, it's been green this whole time. I'm really surprised we're having such difficulty getting into this. Uh, I mean, we have the naval penalty for doing naval invasions, of course, so that's to be expected. They have some entrenchment, so that's helping, or one of the divisions have entrenchment. But we have the shore bombardment, the broken enemy ciphers, intel advantage. I really thought that that would be enough to get the, the victory here against one or two divisions, but that has not been the case. We, or it's just been taking a long time. Uh, it's been a very uh, long invasion, considering that we sent it, I want to say they hit several or at least a week ago. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll likely get the win there unless they send more divisions. Uh, but so far, everything's going pretty well, uh, especially in the seas. You know, we've done great sinking their convoys, which should result in very high casualties, which is exactly what we're seeing here. Uh, so we have taken 18.7 thousand casualties ourselves from the French, while they have taken 153 thousand casualties from us. So that's pretty darn good, guys. You see they do outnumber us when it comes to divisions. Uh, we do have more factories and stuff than they do. Uh, but yeah, they do outnumber us by divisions by quite a bit, actually. And, and remember, we, we destroyed it, several divisions too. So they, they had even more than that uh, when, we, when we first started the conflict. So I would expect maybe like, count all the ones we sunk in the sea? I don't know, maybe 115 divisions or so when we started? So we've killed quite a few. Uh, but yeah, 153,000 gouges. That's not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Neither China nor Mexico have joined the conflict, and America hasn't joined either. So things are, are going pretty well for us uh, in that regard, too. Uh, but yeah, it's only been a few weeks. It's going to go slow uh, here as we fight in all these areas. But we'll eventually be taking this up to speed 3. Actually, it might be taking up to speed 3 next episode, because uh, we're really just fighting here now. We'll have that finished up soon, and Syria is just about done as well. So yeah, I'll probably take it up to speed 3. Uh, oil does seem to be a problem. Uh, when we when we have all those ships out there and all the uh, the planes, so we might need to trade for some. Though I don't really want to have more convoys going out there. 
Uh, but yeah, we might go in and trade with maybe the Dutch. Yeah, maybe we'll trade with the Dutch for some oil. And like three factories worth. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.